Oh, yo, I'm sorry. YouTube is not on Keisha's only income. She does have a crowdfunding venture, which is hair selling. I'm across the line, though, and I'm going to tell y'all how. This is how Keisha crossed the line. So now, I start to notice little similarities. Once again, this is someone coming to my channel to be inspired, and I, I'll break them down for y'all. The last upload, I ain't say nothing. I was, you know, I'm chilling. I'm going to be cool because... If I'm inspiring you to be a better mother or be more active with your children, okay, whatever, that's fine. Okay, the person we're gonna be talking to the, about today is Keisha Kaylee or Keisha Anderson, whatever she calling herself these days. So let me get my coffee. Let me get my coffee and we gonna talk about her, okay? I am literally like, uh, you know, I am religious, okay? Uh, I'm blessed and highly favored, okay? And um. What I'm doing here on this channel is a form of ministry for people who didn't know that. Okay, so one thing about me is what what I've come to find is what I've come to find is the difference between me and all these other YouTubers is that I know what the Lord has for me, nobody can ever take away from me. That's it. Whatever the Lord has for you, what's meant for you, what you deserve, the Lord, no one can ever take away from you. I'm about to drop her off at home and get to the suite. I'm a little perturbed today. A little perturbed. And I'm going to tell y'all why. We're going to have a conversation. y'all are feeling blessed and well today as always dre took my hair out for me so i just got a little puff out my hat it's actually kind of cute y'all it's different uh what's today y'all saturday what's today's day saturday march 12th i have journey's friend in the back seat um i'm about to drop her off at home and get to the suite i'm a little perturbed today a little perturbed and i'm gonna tell y'all why we're gonna have a conversation as soon as I get her friend home, because I'll be talking over the kids and stuff, okay? I think we're about, uh, let's see. Uh, oh, I'm only four minutes away from her friend's house, so that's cool. I'm gonna stop and get some coffee. Uh, there's a Dunkin' Donuts and, uh, oh, we might go to Starbucks today, y'all. I still am in the mood for that, um, that, uh, almond milk, uh, Caramel macchiato, hot, upside down. So we might go to Starbucks today. Yes, yes, we'll go to Starbucks. Why not? Why not? I'm not in a rush today. I have a few clients, but um, they're later on. My plan was to get there early so that I can study some more of my material today. Uh, like I told y'all, so wait for me to compartmentalize because when I'm at home, the kids distract me and everything. So, yeah. All right, so we're almost, we should be pulling up anytime. You got your phone? Yeah. Okay. All right, you guys. I had to make sure she got up to the door okay. Oh, my puff is okay. I can't wait to get my hair done. But I'm going to head over to get some coffee, and then we're going to sit down and have a discussion. Because, okay, I am literally like, uh, you know, I am religious, okay? Uh, I'm blessed and highly favored, okay? And, um... What I'm doing here on this channel is a form of ministry for the people who didn't know that. Okay, so one thing about me is what what I've come to find is what I've come to find is the difference between me and all these other YouTubers is that I know what the Lord has for me, nobody can ever take away from me. That's it. Whatever the Lord has for you, what's meant for you, what you deserve, the, no one can ever take away from you. Okay, that's just that. But as always, we're going to have a conversation because it's to show y'all once again how people really are because it is ridiculous. It is ridiculous and it is very sad. It is sad what it is to all the women I've been talking about. I hope that you guys really sit and reflect and think about is this how you would want your daughters to behave? Is this how you teach your daughters to treat their friends or whatever, associates, co-workers? Because it's ridiculous. So we're going to have a discussion, okay? Okay? The person we're going to be talking to the, about today is Keisha Kaylee or Keisha Anderson, whatever she calls herself these days. So let me get my coffee. Let me get my coffee and we're going to talk about her, okay? All right, y'all. So, yeah, I got my coffee. 
I just pulled over to talk to y'all because I'm gonna hop on the freeway and get to work or whatever and then we're gonna be studying we're gonna move on off this topic okay so yes we're talking today we're talking about um today we're talking about Keisha Kaylee I guess this is what she's calling herself these days she has 502,000 subscribers for people who don't know me in real life y'all on my end y'all can go over to check out her channel okay so now what it did was when I did the video about Chelsea what it did was it opened my channel up to all the other youtubers but I don't really have um it takes a little longer for you know the what people who are not youtubers everyday people to find my channel and stuff so basically it just kind of opened me up to all the other youtubers to come here and be ins inspired and stuff now as i told y'all before I, what whatever the lord has for me is for me nobody can ever take that away so i'm just showing this to y'all so y'all can understand how people really are and what they be about okay now uh what was i gonna say uh, what the heck was I gonna say? Um, shoot, I forgot. I don't know. Yes, yeah, so what the Lord has for me, nobody can ever stop it. Y'all can go recreate, plagiarize, whatever. You can never be me. You can never be me, okay? So now, Keisha is the person, I'm quite sure. Like I said, stuff been going around. I see since I talk about, um, you know, um, self-analysis, not everybody doing self-awareness, all this stuff. So Keisha is the person who I was, who was probably the person who left that comment, who said, um, you know, I understand your frustrations, but I feel like you're using other YouTubers. I, I pretty much figured that was her because like I said, when I read a comment, I can literally analyze it to know the perspective of a person and see how somebody talks. If you look at how a comment is typed, it will directly coordinate to the way somebody talks or whatever, right? And that sounds like how she would talk. So I'm quite sure that was her. Okay, hold on, y'all. Let me let me back in. Well, I just stay right here. The sun is not great. Okay, so now I start to notice little similarities. Once again, this is someone coming to my channel to be inspired, and I, I'll break them down for y'all. The last upload, she's talking about anti-bullying. Okay, and then I I did an upload about Smart Mom talking about um you know Smart Mom trying to bully me and how it's wrong or whatever. Okay, now the the upload before that is how to pop a pimple with no dark mark something about skincare which you have no knowledge at all about skincare everything she said was completely wrong in the video okay so you don't know what you're talking about okay then she said um the the upload before that her and her kids going to swimming y'all remember when i told y'all when we were on the uh when we were on the um the speedboat I, at the end of the vlog i said all the kids gonna be a swimmer because swimming is swimming is important you need to learn how to swim y'all see where she got that from okay then the upload before that then you know my kids get the cheer competition next thing you know her kids in cheer okay then i've been ministering to the women about you know these men and stuff next thing you know she talking about she want to do something together for people to women to be able to find you know a husband and it's hard to find a good man and all this stuff okay and then uh let's see i talk about black people rallying and up sharing knowledge next thing you know she talking about oh i'm gonna do a class to share tell people about how to get a house and all this stuff all this stuff so you're clearly coming to my channel to find inspiration keisha and it's not okay okay it's not okay and now when keisha came over and i noticed when she started doing the cheer and all this other stuff i ain't say nothing i was you know i'm chilling i'm gonna be cool because if i'm inspiring you to be a better mother or be more active with your children okay whatever that's fine everybody should want to be more involved with their children even though it's kind of weird that you're trying to do everything i do with my kids with your kids it's weird you're weird figure out what your children are interested in and then you do that it's weird it's weird it's just it's too similar swimming and cheer are very you know what i'm saying stuff broad things but did you doing it back to back right when i'm saying i'm doing it and stuff is weird like you're weird okay and then uh what was i gonna say so um now it's like i said i never said nothing i never said nothing about you keisha because like i said there's nothing wrong with that somebody want to be involved more involved with your kids she crossed the line on i'm gonna tell y'all how this is how keisha crossed the line because when she start trying to tell her subscribers about skincare stuff at that point you're crossing the line and i'm gonna tell y'all why 
because you are literally not qualified at all. You have no knowledge at all about skincare. Everything she's saying is wrong about this. And I'm gonna tell that, I'm gonna break that down for y'all too. And so basically what it is, is you trying to, I guess, be like me, but at the expense of your subscribers. You don't care if you're misinforming them. You, you 502,000 people, you don't care if you're misinforming them. You don't care if you're giving them incorrect information. You just, your only sole purpose is to look like you better than me. How? How, how does that work? How do you sit there and tell your 502 subscribers a bunch of stuff that don't even make no sense just cause you so desperate to want. Keisha's problem is that she's all about instant gratification. If y'all go over and check out her channel, you look at the intro, what is the scream? Instant gratification, that's it, that's it. When you always constantly gotta tell somebody what you doing, what you buying, this is how much money I spent on this. You're full of instant gratification, that's your problem. And I can never, I know who Keisha is, because when the scandal broke out, okay? But I can never watch Keisha or like Keisha or be friends with Keisha because I can have no respect for Keisha. Because whenever you sit there and let a man have a whole baby on you and his baby mama come to YouTube and make her own channel and they just completely embarrass you and ruin the whole brand you create and you still stay with him, then I think you're desperate at that point. You are desperate and you are a clown, a literal clown, okay? A literal clown. Who does this? Who, you sitting up on 502,000 subscribers. From what I hear, she's supposed to have an education. You gonna sit here and let a man have a baby on you and you still with him? You, is that something you would want your daughters to do, Keisha? Do you think your daughter should be with a man like that, Keisha? Would you want that type of relationship for your daughters, Keisha? Let me know. Let me know, Keisha. Let me know. Okay? So, yes. Yes. And like I said, it's ridiculous because you sit here. If, if you any type of black woman with any type of integrity, pride, you really are God-fearing, you don't do that. You don't come to my channel just to see what I'm doing, just to try to compete with me and go do everything. No, no. If she wanted to put her kids in cheer, how hard is it to say, yo, I saw Britney kids at the competition and uh, you know what I'm saying? I, I, y'all want my kids to be involved with that oh Brittany was talking about swimming so i'm gonna put the kids in swimming she she would never say my name because this is how these women are so petty and competitive desperate desperate for subscribers and desperate for views desperate i guess you do have to be desperate when you're not making no money outside of youtube i guess you do i guess you do it is ridiculous okay it's ridiculous so yes Yes, child. Yes. Yes. What else I had to say about Keisha? What else I had to say about her? What else I had to say? I could go on down the list with all the similarities, but Keisha, you've been on you've been put on all this as well. You let me know. Let me know, Keisha, if you want me to keep analyzing you. Next time you go on your channel and want to do something like I do, or put your kids in the same activities, or go try to, you know what I'm saying? Do you let your subscribers know you got it from over here? Okay? Alright, Keisha? That's that. Now we're gonna get to work and I'm gonna go ahead and study my information. Oh, y'all, I'm sorry. YouTube is not on Keisha's only income. She does have a crowdfunding venture, which is hair selling, okay? So if you guys don't know that, when YouTubers sell hair, all they do is buy for a wholesale price and mark it back up to sell it back to you. So you're much better off to just buy it off Amazon yourself, okay? Or just go online and order it yourself. So she does have a business. It's not legitimate. It's just a crowdfunding venture, per usual. So that's what they do. When the views get low, the funds get low. Then they make a business real quick, okay? To crowdfund on their subscribers so their subscribers can fund their life. So all the stuff she talking about, she getting for her house, she spending thousands, thousands, thousands on. Y'all paying for it with y'all views and her crowdfunding that's it that's it okay yeah. you know what y'all i'm probably just gonna go ahead on and end the vlog here because after that nobody probably gonna look watch me study after i you know what i'm saying they gonna click to see me talk about her this clown this literal clown okay okay you let your freaking boyfriend's mistress come to youtube and get clout off you <laughs> What a clown. What a clown. So, Keisha, like I said, you've been on put on notice. Y'all go ahead on and be blessed. I'm going to get to work. Be blessed, y'all. Bye.